Hello and welcome to Tech Belt. So today we're doing a quick video on our new belt welding locating jig which we've designed for one of our customers and it's got a silicone heat resistant mat through the middle which you can see as it sinks into a pre-machine channel there. It's also got these little dowels which you can see and what they do is they allow pre-punched holes which are on the edge of the belt to locate onto the dowels. Now the reason we've done this is because it can be quite difficult sometimes when you're trying to align and get a belt straight and in position on a machine uh, you've got to do a number of things like use masking tape or uh, other tapes and the other thing you've got to do as well is put PFA filming position. So you've got about three or four things going on there, which is quite difficult to make sure that you've got the perfect aligned belt. PFA film, which was a clear film that I just showed you a second ago, what we've done in this particular instance is we pre-welded this onto the end of the belt. That means it does away with that altogether when you're trying to position and locate the belts that are straight. Now with this, as you can see, what we can do is just lift one end of the belt onto the pins and then we've got the other one that just sits nicely on there and then the welding strip sits just in the middle of this blue heat resistant mat and what we're going to do is we're going to take the other side there and then we're going to locate the other side there <coughs> now you can see that the belt's got a perfect even overlap and the edges are, are nice and in line now the next stage would be to put an orange captain film on there and that acts as a heat resistant barrier between your hot iron surface which is going to weld the belt and the belt itself to protect it from damage. <coughs> what you do is you start off in the centre and you place the iron on. Now you'd obviously hold that under a bit of pressure for around about 35 to 40 seconds at 380 degrees. And then what you do is after that you'd move the iron gradually outwards, step it from there to there, there to there, and then eventually you're going to finish up just welding the edges. And there you go, that's finished. 